The Gulf Employment Index by Cooper Fitch indicates a boost in hiring in the GCC in 2022, and this trend is expected to continue this year. I'm joined by its founder and CEO, Trevor Murphy. Thanks for joining us today, Trevor. Now, your report marks a 5% rise in job creation in Saudi in Q4. And with the opening of hundreds of new companies, like the Sear and the Lucid factories coming online, what are your projections for the Saudi job market in 2023? So our employment index, you know, is reflective of what's happening in the Saudi job market, which has been very consistent over the past year. Um, again, we witnessed a 5% increase in Q4 and an 11% increase on the year on year numbers, uh, which are showing now ahead of pre COVID levels. Um, the growth uh, for this year, based on the current projections in GDP and oil price is about seven or 8%. Uh, we actually currently feel that our the job creation growth will be ahead of these numbers. And as with the GDP numbers for Saudi, the, the number and value of, of high profile organizations that are setting up on Saudi and creating jobs um, has grown significantly last year. And that's set to grow uh, for the year ahead as well. Tell us a little bit about the trend that you observed last quarter in AI and in machine learning and how people with knowledge of these technologies are really needed right now, both for private and public sector companies. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've seen, we've seen how NLP, so the natural language processing has improved um, and made more efficient uh, parts of the customer service experience, language transla translation, et cetera, and deep learning. Uh, continuing to help with you know what what's seen as image and speech speech recognition we've some so seen some really interesting developments in 2022 overall and overlapping into this, this coming year around and uh, new developments uh, supporting what financial services are doing with ai around the fraud protection and, and ensuring that um that there's good compliance around what what the financial services are doing also across private and public sector, we're seeing where machine learning is really starting to benefit uh, the automation of data entry, uh, document processing, et cetera. So that's really going to improve the, some of the heavy lifting that's, uh, that's in, in, in within those uh, type of careers. Um, and also just some really interesting projects around monitoring data patterns and making you know, the roads and infrastructure more efficient. So some real improvements happening there. And just on data and the digital sector, you forecast that they will grow by 3% in this quarter. What particular jobs are most in demand? I mean, look at data protection uh, as it's a high demand skill, and particularly at the end of the year, the amount of data um, that is now being stored and how we use that data and the data governance and um, it's really about ensuring that uh, the data is accurate and it's accessible and obviously that it's safe and secure so um, and the accuracy um, of that data is helping um, the data to be used better by businesses so we've seen some real improvements to that over the last year and into this year and also some uh, tightening of regulations within within uh, the GDPR um, uh, to in terms of protection of, of data. So real strong growth around data governance, around architects and, and analysts and managers, uh, data quality, big, big push on that around the data governance side and privacy and obviously the data security, um, which has been a continual trend over the last number of years, but still spiking um, uh, at the end of last year and probably into the foreseeable future. Thanks so much for joining us today. Cooper Fitch, founder and CEO, Trevor Murphy.